I wonder about America sometimes. The, the, there's a particular disease called diasporitis, which, um, you know, in the form of that wretched film Braveheart, um, about which I hear from every Kurdish taxi driver when I say I'm a Scotsman. <laughs> um, you know, uh, I mean, that film had, had the effect nearly of, of causing a Scottish nation to exist, which would have been ridiculous. The, the damage the Irish diaspora did in America, right up to financing the IRA until terrorism came home to roost in New York, it was pretty bad. And it's the same thing with the Armenians in, in, in America. Uh, as you know, an American diplomat friend of mine said, when uh, Armenians cross the Atlantic, they don't change country, they change planet. And they sit around feeling sorry for themselves and their symbol is genocide, genocide, genocide. Whereas it's just not proven. And there's something more sinister, which sometimes comes out which is the business of trying to extract compensation. Firms of lawyers in California will take an insurance company to court. We know how the American legal system works, that uh, it's, it's, it's easier for you to pay off somebody who's suing you than to pay your own lawyer. In other words, you, you make an agreement over your lawyer's head because it's cheaper. So sometimes that sort of thing has happened. Um, but, uh, and then there's the wilder sort of Armenian claims that they want to, ha they want to, have, um, they want to have traps on back along with Van and Bitlis. I mean, what can you say to people like that? There's no discussing things with them.